So, Justin, I think it's fair to say the perception certainly is that things have, have never been this bad, never been as worse here on Vancouver's downtown east side. You've, you've looked at the numbers, uh, uh, the data. What are, what's it telling you? And it's an interesting thing, Mike, because people are talking about this as we're at an inflection point. But when you compare numbers today to 2017, there hasn't been that much of a change. You look at homelessness in the city of Vancouver, up 4% since then. You look at crime statistics recorded by the VPD in Strathcona and the Central Business District, up 6 to 8%. And you look at overdose numbers, they're down 24% in the city of Vancouver this year. So we've been hearing a lot about how it's uh, dramatically gotten worse, but at least from a statistical perspective, we don't really have numbers showing that at this point. No doubt the data is, is difficult to measure. What are some of the reasons for that? Well, and part of it is it's just what people are seeing. We're in the middle of a high-profile camp that has been going on all summer. And part of it, frankly, too, when you talk to people, it's about how, well, the number of crimes and the number of homeless people is around the same or just a slight increase. The area that they're in has changed. You know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, we would consider the downtown east side a sprawling area from about Camby all the way into East Strathcona. Today, it's very much constricted to about five by two blocks. That means that it's much more visible, it's much more dense. That causes issues for people traveling. It also causes issues for people in the neighborhood who feel boxed in. Justin, thank you. Thanks, Mike.